Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna shoot a little video about how to do a compression test on a molar that's pulled. So we've got a Victor's blue top here, blue top 4AG, and we already pulled all the spark plugs, these guys here, and we're just gonna show you how to do a compression test. So first step, get your compression tester, get your uh, your ratchet here. So you need a spark plug. Uh, what's that called? Spark plug socket. Yeah, yeah. Spark plug socket. What size is it? Five eighths. And throw it in here. Put her on Lucy. Ah, come on. Put her on Lucy. Blister on out. There's your plug. Ah, I don't need that anymore. Get your compression tester. You're gonna need an adapter for five eight, five eights, right? Yep. 5 8 adapter. It's an 18 millimeter thread. Is it? I think so. That's what Easy. it says on the, the, the box. So I'm not sh I'm sh sure about that. Easiest thing to do is just take your spark plug and match up the threads. Should be a problem. Then you take this guy here, put her in, and basically just thread it into the spark plug hole, which is what I'm doing here. Okay, we threaded her in. So now we're just going to crank the engine over. Um, to test the compression. Since we don't have a starter hooked up or anything, the only way we can do it is by uh, manually cranking the engine. So Vic uh, is going to take our, uh, what you call this? Breaker bar. Breaker bar and crank the engine around. Here, I'll hold it. Whoops, I pushed the release button. Keep going. So you can see he's cranking the engine around and the compression is coming up on the gauge, which means that there is good compression in that cylinder. Okay, that's good, that's good, man. Basically, that's all there is to know about how to do a compression test with the engine pulled.